Louisiana Beer Reviews, Fall City Beer, Original Pilsner, All Green, Premium All Green. Notice I didn't say all malt, I say all grain. Corn is a gra grain, rice is a grain. This is from Louisville, Kentucky. I had been to Louisville. Um, and there's a write up on the back about the old days in, in your parents' garage and the old people drinking the old beer and whatnot. Brewed and can by Fall City Brewing Company, Louisville, Kentucky, and under special agreement, Evansville, Indiana. Hmm. Interesting. Born on August 14, 2019. It's just over a month old. I'm recording this on August, uh, September 21st, September 21st, 2019. It's got a shrink wrap label, actually. You can see the seam and feel it here. So, hmm. Fall City was a popular beer back in the 1940s and 50s and 60s. Started to decline in the 1970s, like so many beers in the South the Northeast, the Old Northwest Territory, and the Far West, the Old West. Um, and now it's around, but not what you'd say popular. And I want to thank Jason Thrash for sending this to me. Thank you, Jason, one of my viewers. You're over there in Blue Raider country. Let's check this 4.5% alcohol. 15 IBU beer. I have an old Schmidt glass. The brew that grew with the Great Northwest. So we're looking at Northwest Territory beers. Beers from the Northwest Territory. Established in 1787 by the United States of America government. Um, medium, creamy, white, off-white head. An unusually hazy gold sort of a murky gold as you can see odd that's not just the chill that's something in there well, you never know so I'm going to show you some Midwest beers that I bought over the years on road trips So the appearance is strange, and thanks again, Jason. Uh, there's no write-up about the ingredients on the website. Is it a true Pilsner? I doubt that because it probably uses corn or rice as an adjunct, maybe both. No score on Beer Advocate with only nine reviews. Rate Beer with 27 ratings gives it a 9 out of 100. A 9 out of 100, that means it's 91% bad. Can you imagine drinking a beer like that? I think you would die, but anyway. 77, 77 out of 100 in the style. Crazy. Untap gives us 64 out of 100. They will over 1,200 chickens. Smells a little spicy. It smells unusually yeasty like a lot of these Minhas beers do these days, like the uh, Simpler Times and Pilsner and Lager. Hmm. They have almost a Belgian spice, which can really throw you. And it gets when you get to the end of that six pack, you're like, I'm glad I'm at oh, the end of that 12 pack. You're like, I'm glad I'm at the end of this 12-pack. Not that it's bad. It's just too strange. Yeah, it has that strange herbal quality. Medium mouthfeel. It's 15 IBUs. It tastes like it's more than 15. It tastes like about 20. <laughs> um, nice leasing. Has an unusual herbal quality. Doesn't taste like a Pilsner that I've ever tasted. Dry, crisp finish. Well, it reminds me of the Simpler Times Lager. And simpler times, Pilsner, which are lagers. I don't know if they're a true Pilsner, but uh, they're strange like this. So this doesn't taste anything like the Fall City beer I bought in 1996 in Indiana. Let me tell you that. We were in Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. 
and we uh, crossed the bridge into Indiana. And I said, we're going to take the bridge. You don't have to pay. I wasn't paying across the bridge. I said, why are we going to pay to cross the bridge? We just got off, went, and then crossed this non-toll bridge. And then as soon as we got off the bridge, I said to my friend Paul, look, a liquor store. Let's go there. So we went to the liquor store, and they had this beer, Falls City Beer. I said, I'll buy it. Back then, six packs were like $1.99, two thirty nine. So I bought it. And I remember the liquor store owner was like, hello. And then I grabbed the six pack of Fall City beer and I brought it up to the counter. And he looked at it like, he gave like a smirk, like, hmm. And almost shook his head like, look at you. I wanted to say, uh, hey, hey, time out. I'm buying stuff from you and I'm paying you money. Don't You don't have to make a face or a smirk. I can't stand that. Uh... I kind of got that feeling when I was at that liquor store in Connecticut on along U.S. Highway 1. We bought, I bought the Meisterbrow six-pack and one other beer, I can't remember. And uh, the guy was like, oh yeah, Peels. Peels. I think he even said it. Peels. I was like, that's a real good approach. Like, downgrade the product you're selling. Yeah, good salesmanship. Anyway, Fall City beer. I liked it. When I tried it, I said, this is a pretty good beer. This was made by Evansville Brewing Company, Evansville, Indiana. They went out of business in 1997. So this was good. Keep America beautiful. I can't stand litter. I can't stand litter bugs. People litter. They're so low, low class. I mean, I just pick, I'll hold a gum wrapper all day until I find a trash can. Not bragging, just saying I hate litter. I was raised on those old commercials with the Indian, Indian man crying and all that. Because that's the old, the, 1996 Falls City label and this one. Which one do you prefer? My vote will go with this. No shrink wrap label. Authentic looking. Nice. Then, uh, we used to get these in Louisiana. Right there at the stores. Uh, usually quart bottles. Can you believe that? Quart bottles. But I think I bought this six pack in Louisiana. I think it was in Grand Isle, Louisiana, I bought it, along Louisiana Highway 1. But um, they would sell it right here on U.S. Highway 51 at Pilot. And I was at Pilot in 1997. They had quart bottles of pil uh, Sterling. I'm like, I'm buying that for my collection. I'll get it next week. Went back next week. They didn't have it. I'm around. Come to find out, company went out of business. That's what I try to preach to people if you see it buy it because if you come back later like I did with the Miller red label it's not it's gonna be gone and the Schlitz old red label the 82 to 96 label the 1982 to 96 I saw it at the store I said I'm gonna get it next week gone never seen again the sterling quality pledge pure sterling beer this is a beautiful product old-timey beer same thing keep America beautiful I'm trying to tell the people not to uh litter but they don't listen all right so at least i got the can could have had that quart bottle could have had that quart bottle sickening i got some crackers with the strange oh there's that refrigerator i was trying to beat that but i didn't make it dollar tree lunch and meat I don't know. Spongy. Yeah, I think I'll pay more and stick with great value at least. Or best choice, because I know that's made by uh, Armor at Fort Madison, Iowa. I said Wisconsin in the last video. Iowa. I don't know where else made it. The bold, the proud, the eagle premium malt liquor. Malt liquor, always malt liquor. Contains 16 fluid ounces. I bought this right there on Louisiana Highway 3188 in my town in 1987 or 86. I was like, oh, I've never seen this malt liquor before. This strong lager beer, Hellas Bach. This American Hellas adjunct Hellas Bach and I said okay Evansville Brewing Company so they had a malt liquor 
go on. Really nice, too. If you like a robust, good-bodied American Hellas Bach beer, that's one to try. Not that you can, since it's been going for 22 years. Bought this on a road trip. Minnesota Brewing Company, St. Paul, Minnesota, out of business. Landmark premium beer. The taste of tradition is back. It's back, and it ain't staying. The horse pulling the wagon, the old brewery in the background, kind of like Meisterbrow. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Milwaukee's best used to have. Good beer. Clean. Was on a road trip on US Highway 61. Like uh, Bob Zimmerman in, a, in Minnesota. Sixty-one starts in Louisiana, runs all the way to Minnesota, and um, I stopped at a bar, and I took the bottle with me in the cap. I don't know what the deposit law is or whatever, but I just took it, you know. But um, Schmidt's La Crosse, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I went to the La Crosse Brewery when it was still G. Heilman, the day it was bought out by Stroh's. Literally, I was there the day it got bought out. This is a beautiful beer. I bought six packs of this. There was also a Schmitz of Philadelphia. I can't figure out. There's two different ones. I'm I bought this in Minnesota at a liquor store where you could get the full alcohol version. If you went to a grocery store, it was only 4%. Minnesota. Look at that. Minnesota. Stroh's. Fresh brewed here. You say, ah, fire brewed, not fire brewed. They gave up fire brewing in 1973, I think. Couldn't afford it. Traditionally brewed with the finest hops, pure water, and barley malt. I think this is a 12 pack. I think I loved it. I did love it. Can't get Stroh's in Louisiana. I bought Grain Belt when I was up there in Wisconsin, but I had bottles where they faded, like the red faded, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I threw it out. So Grain Belt was nice. Oh, yes. Very pleased with Grain Belt. Somebody sent me a new reformulated Grain Belt, but it had a strange off flavor. Mm, it declined since 96. Here's Point. I bought this in Point Stevens, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. I did buy this in that town, or right close to the town on U.S. Highway 51 on that road trip. I went all the way to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, but a uh, premium lager. Point Special, that was a jewel, that. A jewel. They, they got into craft brewing. They started selling them down here. I bought them, no one else did, in 2012, and you never saw it again. Good craft beers, too, but um, they're known as a regional brewer like Dixie of Louisiana or Pearl Brewing of Texas and that kind of thing. Anyway, were all of these very different from each other? No, they were not. Except the eagle was stronger or full-bodied. Were they all good? Yes, they were. Delicious, in fact. Is the current fall city up to that standard? No, I don't think so. It's too strange. Oh, now, the, one of these crackers I used the Yamasa soy sauce. Thanks, Ken. Yamasa from Japan. I have almost none left. And then the other four, I used this Cajun Chef Louisiana hot sauce from St. Martinville, Louisiana. Look at that good hot sauce. It's even better because it's colored with yellow number six and red number 40. And that's important. Okay, so... um. Um, I can't say the beer is bad. It doesn't taste bad. But, um, it's inferior to the old one from my 23-year-old record 
recollection. I don't think that recollection was pretty strong and echo it. Echo it. As Tracy Morgan would have said, echo it. So, um, I'm going to say it's a B minus. It's an 82. It's marginally good. If you see it for a good price, buy it. But look, the way I'm looking at things, if I can buy this, if I can buy this key, stone ice, right? So if I can buy a key, stone ice. For seven ninety nine a fifteen pack, and really, if you want to be techno, it's probably better than all of these that I just described. All of these, and not to mention that it's certified kosher. I'm not paying craft beer prices for repurchased, reformulated things like this. I'm not downing it. I'm not attacking it. I'm not, you know, ripping on it. I'm just saying I'm not. I'm speaking for what I'm going to buy. I'm not paying, you know, $7.99, whatever. They... Okay, Dixie Beer in Louisiana. Am I going to pay $7.99 for a six-pack of Dixie? Wrong. No, I'm not. When I... <laughs> Would I can get Keystone Ice for $15.99? Seven. <laughs> Trying. I'm working hard. $7.99 for a 15-pack? I don't believe I am. Anyway, meth rant and raving. It's fun to try these beers, and it's really fun when people like Jason Thrash send me beers, even though I strongly advise people not to send me beer because it's not worth A, the trouble, and B, the expense. But that being said, I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video production. Laissez les bon temps relate, and y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.